Hello my friends, welcome to my channel Bringer of Light Intuitive. I'm Cindy, thank you so much for joining me today and watching this reading. Welcome back or welcome in. If you are new here, I would love to hear from you in the comments below. Say hi and let me know you're here. Um, today we are going to look at the 1010 portal that is today. And we're going to see what message wants to come through. What can you expect? What do you need to know about this 1010 portal? Let's see what you want to, uh, what you need to know. And uh, you just let me know who I'm reading for, okay? All right, and then I'm going to get you some advice at the end. All right, let's see what Spirit wants you to know. What is the message that wants to come through for you? My friends watching this reading, what is it that you need to know about this 1010 portal? The Six of Pentacles, balance is being restored. Wow, balance to your finances is being restored for many of you, I see. This is, this is the energy of your value, too. Balance being restored in your, your value of yourself, your self-worth, your self-value, and the, like, the karmic cycle being completed. We're stepping through this 1010 portal in balance, in balance being restored in our life, balance being restored in our energy. The karmic like justice, you know, the, um, the justice card coming through saying karmic justice is being restored. Karmic balance is being restored. You, somebody here, claim it, claim it. Somebody here, your balance is being restored in your finances and you have a gift coming in. You have a gift of something bigger than you think. So be open, be open to the unlimited, unlimited, unlimited magic of the universe that has a perfect situation for you if you are looking for a job because so many of you are. And just know that there is a perfect opportunity that is getting ready to show up for you you've got to embrace that abundance. You've got to realize, I know it's been so hard and it's, there's a lot of pressure. There's nothing worse. I don't think than the pressure of finances when you're short, when you can't pay your bills, there's nothing worse than that pressure. I've been there. I've been homeless. I totally understand. And it is so, so it's so hard, but all of these pentacles is a lot of money coming in for you embrace it embrace it because there is a version of you that already has it in the more that you embrace this an energy of the abundance this is the the energy of abundance self-sufficiency having more than enough the, the more that you embrace this energy and you you call it in you magnetize it to yourself this is a magnetic energy this is a magnetic energy that is magne magnetizing your new opportunity your whatever the universe has for you the door is about to open for you but you've got to embrace that energy of abundance and that energy of magnetizing it to you you and it's very hard it's so hard i know i know it's so hard but be willing to be willing to believe be willing to be willing to believe and give yourself permission to receive and then say, okay, universe, thank you for handling this for me. Thank you for this gift that you have for me. Thank you for this gift that is coming in that is going to replenish. the. It's like back pay. Everything that you have been owed for all these weeks, months, looking for the right job, or maybe even in jobs before where you were not treated right, where you are not paid your worth, you are receiving back pay for all of that. I want to really stress that this is big for you. The 1010 portal is all about prosperity and abundance, and these cards coming out are perfect. The universe wants you abundant. The universe wants to open doors for you. The universe wants to give you a gift of a new job or a new raise or a new promotion or your business taking off. This is an entrepreneur energy. You're meant to succeed. You are abundant. So embrace it, embrace it, embrace it, embrace it. And I want you to start saying every single day, I want you to start saying money loves me and I love money. Money loves to show up for me. Abundance is my birthright. I want you to start saying that. And I want you to add to that. Um, <clears throat> I get paid to exist. My existence pays for itself. 
Large amounts of money come to me easily and effortlessly every single day. This opens up your mind. This, this opens up to unlimited possibilities, not just a job. This opens up to unlimited possibilities that the universe can bring you money even if you are currently without a job. This is what happened to me. I am speaking from experience. I started saying this every single day, twice a day, and if I had learned then what I know now, I would say it all day long. So I encourage you to say it all day long. I get paid to exist. My existence pays for itself. Large amounts of money come to me easily and effortlessly every single day. And your mind will tell you that is a lie from hell when you first start saying that because if you are in the stress of not having abundance, then your mind is like, yeah, right. But you keep saying that. You keep saying it and you keep saying it and you keep saying it and you watch what happens because stepping through this portal, you're stepping into that version of you that has more than enough and has some sort of perfect opportunity that puts you in that position to have more than enough. You're waiting for it. It's like right there. And what did I say about justice? Karmic balance is being restored. Justice is turning in your favor. Also a justice situation, a legal situation turning in your favor. And I've got the six of wands here. This is this is a victory over that cycle. That cycle of stress. That cycle of the old. The old story. The lack. The stress. The struggle. The karmic stuff. You got victory. You have the victory over that cycle. Now you are stepping through with justice on your side truth and integrity, your most authentic you, you are finding your most authentic you is abundant. Watch, this year, you are going to be abundant and you're going to realize that this is my most authentic self. I'm supposed to be abundant. I'm supposed to be wealthy. I'm supposed to be successful. I'm supposed to be in my perfect love story. I'm supposed to. I've got the Knight of Cups here too and the Ten. Well, my goodness. So we've got love and money coming in. Oh. Just to make sure we understand, we've got the two of cups too. There is a perfect, beautiful, see, I've been saying for months, divine alignments. Divine alignments in money, divine alignments in peace, divine alignments in doors op uh, and opportunities coming to you and doors opening to you and divine alignments in love. We have soulmate business. We have soulmate jobs. We have soulmate love. Okay, so it's all here in this 1010 portal. You're stepping through with the abundance mindset that everything that I could want is coming to me. This abundance mindset is in love and money because you were born abundant. You were also born abundant in love you're meant to be abundant and that's why karmic balance had to come in with justice and be restored because you know we we have gone through things in our life that programmed us to think that we're not abundant we forgot that we were made in the image of the universe who created us in their image to be abundant and to be in connections that are that are abundant and healthy and stable so we're coming into alignment guys we're coming into alignment stepping step through this 1010 portal realizing how abundant you are that you got victory over the old cycle and start watching for it, expecting your abundance to come in abundance in a new job abundance in a business taking off whatever you need you know whatever you need and abundance in love i've got four cards of love sitting here <laughs> looking at me and you are attracting that you're attracting success and you're attracting love you're magnetizing it to you this is a very attractive energy that nine of pentacles so let's see what else wants to come through we're in this moon energy we don't see all this yet and you know we we're kind of in our feels about it we're feeling like things are never going to work out for us 
we got to get out of that. That kind of thinking is going to continually attract more of it. We want to get into the abundant mindset where we have our wishes being fulfilled, where we're delulu thinking that, you know, have the audacity to think that everything actually does work out for me. Have the audacity to think, you know what, if I truly just be willing to believe fully, wholeheartedly in the universe, what would happen? My cups would be filled. Wishes would be fulfilled. A prayer would be answered. You're shifting timelines. You're shifting out of this timeline and this timeline where you are like, hello, I want love. And they're like, no, not today. We're shifting out of that. All right. And we're shifting into this abundance and wish fulfillment where we're feeling content and happy and full because our cups are full. We couldn't possibly be happier because literally everything is always working out for us. So we're at the epitome of happy. You're shifting into that timeline and you're allowing your manifestation to harvest. We are in harvest season now. This 1010 portal, and here we are with this 10. Look at that. We're, this is the old portal. This is the old cycle. We're stepping through the portal into the new cycle. <laughs> I don't know what's coming out. I just shuffled, and here we go. And so this one, and this one is the 10 of Pentacles. This is the old cycle. Let's say goodbye right now. Let's take a moment to say goodbye to the old cycle that was heavy that was challenging, that was not fun. And let's step into the new one where all of our needs are filled, where all of the abundance of the universe is ours, where everything that we touch turns to gold, where we are attractive and magnetically attracting in that job, that love, whatever it is. It's already on the way. What you want is already on the way. It's already in your energy with this page of swords. It's already in your energy and it already sees you. The universe is making sure that what you want wants you. And that's another affirmation that you can say. What I want wants me even more. And I am stepping into that energy where I fully believe with my whole heart that what I want wants me more. And I'm going to watch it happen. You gotta be wholehearted about it. You cannot be one foot in and one foot in this because this takes precedence. It will every time. Because if you're in this energy, this you're gonna attract more of this energy. It's just the way it works. And it ties the universe's hands. We gotta be wholehearted about, and we gotta be in our full on abundance mindset. Everything I touch turns to gold. I love money and money loves me. I don't work for money. Money works for me. I get paid to exist. I don't just get paid to work. I get paid to exist. My existence pays for itself. Large amounts of money come to me easily and effortlessly every single day. You say that every single day, you're going to start attracting money. It may start small at first and then it may get big. You may get big chunks. You may win the lottery. I mean, Anything is possible, but you got to tell yourself so that you can believe it first before it comes in. You got to, and, and you may get small amounts of money coming in every day and think, oh, it's not working. I only got, you know, I won the lottery for $3. That's abundance, and that's showing you that it's working. You got to keep doing it, keep doing it, building that, building that uh, sense of abundance for yourself, building your self worth, building the belief uh, in abundance. And then before you know it, you're going to have literally large amounts of money coming to you. And maybe $3 is a large amount for some people. I mean, you know, seriously, keep going. We have new beginnings left and right. We've got the chariot. This has been coming out for everybody today. 
the chariot is fast forward movement. This is the energy of, you know, success and like catapulting to a higher version and a higher level of yourself and a higher level of success than you've ever dreamed. This is in the hands of the universe. This new opportunity is in the hands of the universe and it is coming in to be delivered to you. The more you believe, the more you will receive. You, you got to put wholehearted belief in, in knowing that the universe has got good things for you. And then give yourself permission to receive it because it's going to be bigger and better than you think. I've got another card here. What is it? Uh, yeah, we're leaving all the doubts and all the fears and all the tragedy that we've been through in our life in the past. As well as the lack. The lack energy. The doubts and the fears because of all the lack and everything that we've gone through in the past. It tends to instill beliefs in us that just create more of those experiences and that is why it is so important to shift your mindset into abundance and start expecting abundance because that is what wants to come through for you. Lots and lots of powerful forward movement and success. This is new love. This is soulmate energy too. Like I said, we've got love and money here. This is a brand new beginning. This is this is, uh, you know, lighting your fire and your zest for life. This is exciting. This is adventurous. This is something of a transformation where, you know, whatever this is, is coming in, whether it's love or money or something else, it has the, uh, uh it has the ability to transform you. You're not going to be the same. Life is not going to look the same. It's exciting and it's new. And you have cleared out the old stuff and the, and the old beliefs and the old patterns and the old stuff, the old story, to make room for this to come in. You had to do that. You had to do that. And now it's coming in. Keep paying attention to your intuition. We've also got the magician here. Keep paying attention to your intuition because you're being guided. You're being delivered messages and intuitive guidance of where to go and what to do. And some days you don't do anything. Some days your guidance is rest, take care of you, you know, but listen to your intuition. Listen to any inspiration that you get these inspired nudges to go in a certain direction or do something. And maybe it's just, you know, um, take, take this route home today instead of this route or go send your resume over here or call up this friend. You just never know. And whatever your intuitive guidance is, do it. Even if it doesn't make logical sense, you want to do it. You're manifesting. And you're very intuitive right now. So your intuition always knows. Always knows the answers. Always leads you in the right direction to what it is that you're manifesting. Also, the magician is the number one. This is a brand new beginning. We're literally stepping into the portal. You're stepping into your new beginning. What is it that you're going to create? You're in your creating power. You're in your manifesting power. You're in your power. Put on the, the clothes of the abundant. Embrace that abundant energy. Put it on like your clothes. And tell the universe, I'm ready. I trust. I am willing to trust I am ready to receive. I give myself permission to receive. Now show me what to do. If there's anything for me to do, show me what it is. And I trust that I will understand that too. And I won't miss because you're not gonna. You're not gonna miss your intuition. You're not gonna miss your guidance. You're not gonna do anything wrong. You're gonna trust and you're gonna embrace abundance and you're gonna watch the magic happen. Also, he is communication. You do have something new coming in, and it may come through some sort of communication being delivered to you. Could be a love offer. <laughs> could be somebody interested in you, attracted to you, and it could be you attracting in a new opportunity of some kind. Could also be if you get inspired creatively or intuitively, I mean, to do something like creatively, like write a book or write songs or, you know, depending on your situation, listen to your intuition and follow suit because you're being led and guided to exactly what it is that you want. So just be willing to believe and to trust in yourself and the universe 
and get ready for new new things. You've got so much here. You've got so much. Let's get you some guidance, some advice from my little friends here. Love these cards. Ah, see, we've got the entrepreneurship card. Some of you are entrepreneurs and you are going to be led to your success. Whatever that looks like to you, there's something new here. Just remember to keep following your intuition because there may be a little tweak in your plan or there may be some more, something else for you to do, like add to maybe your, your products. I don't know. Just follow your intuition and realize that you are meant to be successful. You are meant to be. You were chosen to be an entrepreneur and you were chosen to be successful. <clears throat> Advice for my friends watching. Advice, please. Advice or guidance, whatever they need, please. It is often, it is often easy to make a ripple. You may think that you're insignificant or any little tweaks to your plan are insignificant or something like that but you are chosen. And you're also chosen to be here watching this reading with me getting this message for a reason because the universe has a gift for you. And if the universe has a gift for you, don't you know that you're special? And you, just a little ripple can, that's you being your most authentic and you stepping into your power and you being abundant and you receiving this love or you receiving this success you're meant to do that and you're meant to shine for the world any little ripple you do even just your smile creates a ripple and it's big and it touches people you're meant to touch people with your personal light and your personal story whatever that is even if you feel a little insignificant don't because you're meant to shine no matter what that looks like, even if you're, if you tell me, oh, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a mom, I don't have time for all that. You're meant to shine for your family. And the, the ripple that you create is just you taking care of your family. That creates a ripple and they grow up and they create ripples. And it all ends up being part of the plan that is big. And you are chosen to be that person. You are chosen to be that mom. You are chosen to create a ripple in your kid's life. Forgiveness. Forgiveness for yourself or anyone else. Remember, forgiveness is to set you free. It is not to justify anything that anyone did for, to you. It is literally to set you free. Take the time to send out forgiveness if you feel it as you're hearing these words, if you feel any sort of, oh, okay, I need to forgive myself for that past mistake, or I need to give, forgive this situation, you know, because I've been harboring some resentment. Take the time to do it because literally it sets you free and it calls in abundance because when we're in resentment or unforgiveness or anything, you can't go through the portal. You can't expect gifts from the universe you you gotta let go of that because it if you bring that through with you it's like no it's it creates more uh negative energy <clears throat> it's like that energy just keeps piling on to itself and you just keep inviting in more negative energy you gotta set yourself free so you can go be abundant live in the moment don't put your happiness out towards when I find this person, then I'll be happy. Or when I have this job, then I'll be happy. Or when I reach this level of success, then I'll be happy. We want to be happy and live in the moment. And we want to just know that we are abundant. And we want to trust that everything that happens today is a gift from the universe. Even if it's not what you've been asking for yet. Remember... To live in the moment, stay in today. 
You're only guaranteed today. How can you make the best of it? How can you be happy? How can you give yourself some happiness? How can you show up for yourself? How can What can you do? And, and how can you listen to your guidance from the universe that will take you in the direction you need to go? One more card for my friends watching, please. And there it is. Take care of yourself on the bottom of the deck. Take care of yourself. Use your words. Use your words, guys, for yourself. I get paid to exist. My existence pays for itself. Large amounts of money come to me easily and effortlessly every day. Use your words because your words are power. Your words create. Your words create new beliefs on the inside of you that creates new experiences on the outside of you. Your words create your world. Use your words and use them wisely and use them to the positive and the abundant and the loving way that you can. I love you. I will see you in the next reading. Comment below and let me know who I'm reading for, please.